R2D2 is coming to the game! That is right, guys. R2D2 is officially announced that this boy is coming to the game to be added to our inventories. The developers have been teasing R2D2 for such a long time in the Chopper event, in the Dark Side battles, so many other places, and it looks like they are finally giving us what we wanted. As I've mentioned in previous videos, there are supposed to be two fan favorite characters coming out in the next two months, with one of them being May, and it looks like our buddy R2 is going to be the first guy coming to this game. So this video will be quite short. We're going to do some speculation. We don't have the kit announced just yet. That will be tomorrow most likely, but we have a lot to work with right now. So let's take a look at this and let's just get brainstorming, guys. A lot of stuff that we can work off here. So the first thing that I'm noticing is that R2D2 is going to be unlocked at five stars, which means one of two things assuming they don't do anything new first of all this could mean that a new raid is coming to the game as we know han solo and general kenobi they are raid specific rewards that need to be unlocked at five stars so that is option number one which i am not sure if this game is ready for a third raid however the second idea that i have is that this could be a legendary type event like we saw with yoda as well as palpatine as you know, you need to get Yoda or Palpatine unlocked at five stars. So one of two things is happening here, guys. Either this is another legendary event, which I hope it is. It'd be much easier to get him really fast like we did of Palpatine and Yoda. And that could be coming out sometime in May, which I'm really hoping for is going to be May the 4th. That is like the holy holiday of Star Wars in general. So that would be the perfect and ideal time to run an event like this. So that's the first thing that I'm gathering from that initial point that we just discovered. The next thing is, holy cow, look at all of those tags. R2D2 is rocking. He's going to be a droid, duh, makes perfect sense. They're adding a new faction tag, the Galactic Republic. We do not have a tag called the Galactic Republic. We'll talk more on that, what that could possibly mean for the game. We have the Rebel, Resistance, and he's also a support character, which makes perfect sense in my opinion. Now, what's great about R2D2 is that he is not going to be constrained to one particular era, that either being this the prequels, the Empire era, or during the Resistance versus First Order era. He's covering the whole shebang, which means he's going to be a great plug and play character for many different factions. He's going to be in one, two, three, four factions, and that is quite a lot of factions, and perhaps one of the most in the game for a particular character might be wrong, but that's definitely a top contender, if not the number one character with the most tags. Now, what does Galactic Republic mean? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. It could mean a lot of things. It could just be another tag being added into the game. As we know, they added the Separatist tag months ago, but they haven't done anything with that Separatist tag. So it might just be in there for the show of it, or they might be adding this tag to other Galactic Republic individuals, like maybe the clones, the Jedi, bringing them more together as one strong synergy. That would be pretty cool because that is bridging a big gap that the Jedis and clones have been missing for quite a long time. The next thing I want to point out is the description that R2D2 has. It says versatile support droid that inflicts burning and grants ally stealth. What the heck is burning? I have no idea. That sounds like it's going to be some sort of debuff because you don't inflict a buff normally on the enemy. You inflict a debuff or a negative status effect, however you'd like to call it. What does burning do? Unsure as of now, we don't see what the abilities are yet. That is coming out tomorrow. But another thing that we can point out here is that he can grant ally stealth. Now, I, I'm a bit shaky on what this is supposed to be. We already have the big issue or some people call it an issue. Some people love it. Some people don't the fact that we are in an evasion and stealth meta. Is R2-D2 just going to be feeding the fuel to the Sith characters that we have in the Maul meta? Or is this going to be serving some other purpose to perhaps counter the Maul meta? Unsure right now, but just saying it grants ally stealth might be leaving people a bit uneasy as to, is this supposed to be a solution to the Maul meta? Is this supposed to counter the Maul meta? Or is this supposed to not do anything with the Maul meta? We don't know, but let's take a look at the abilities that we can see. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five abilities, maybe six, but the way the bar is set, if you see right next to the abilities, we have a little bar. It looks like there's only going to be five abilities in total, which means this is going to be a character jam packed full of stuff. First off, we have the Electro Shock Prod. Now, as I've said, we have seen R2-D2 in previous events, like the Chopper events. We also see him in the Dark Side battles. Is this going to be the same kid? I don't know, and I hope not, because the one that we see in the game that you fight off against, 
it's quite underwhelming the animations are cool and all but it's not it doesn't seem game changing in my opinion so electroshock prod might be some sort of stun ability which i'm perfectly fine with stun on a basic is quite powerful what this will do beyond that no idea the next thing here is smoke screen what smoke screen is going to do i don't know but i have two ideas right now number one usually when you use a smoke screen if you ever seen the movies or if you ever use a smoke screen the whole point is to kind of disorient your enemies make them unaware where you might be it's kind of to cover yourself and hide you so is this supposed to be part of the whole stealth mechanism to grant your ally stealth is this supposed to be some sort of thing needed to use burning I don't quite know, but I'm thinking it has to be something of that sort. I'm leaning more towards the stealth side because you're trying to cover up where you are supposed to be. Now, improvise. Really hard to tell, guys. Look really closely with me here. You can kind of see there's flames there, and I think uh, that's R2-D2 flying away. If you recall, we've seen it many times in the movies, especially in Episode 3, where you see R2-D2 kind of spray oil on everyone, and then he ignites it, making the B2 Super Battle Droids catch on fire. Is this supposed to be the burning mechanism? I think it has something to do with that. Burning? You have flames? I think that kind of mixes together. So now I'm starting to think smoke screen is for the stealth, and then this is supposed to be for inflicting burning, but we still don't know what it is, but it's a special ability. Now we got combat analysis. As you know, R2-D2 was a great ally to have in terms of analyzing the battle and to make an educated decision on what to do next. It's a unique ability, not a leadership ability, and it's really all up in the air as to what it might do. And I can't think of anything off the top of my head about what this could possibly mean. But I don't know, guys. These are just hypotheticals. These are just things we're coming up with on the top of our heads. A lot of stuff just in this little picture of the unlocking of R2-D2. So hopefully you guys are excited as I am. I've been asking for R2-D2 for quite a long time. That is a fan favorite character, so I do believe this is satisfying the whole two fan favorite characters coming in the next two months. But as always, comment down below on what you think this character is going to be all about. Seems like it's going to have a lot of stuff. What is he going to do? What's his purpose in the game? We will find out hopefully in 24 hours from now when they release his kit. But make sure you comment down below on what you think R2-D2 is all about. Are you excited for him? How are we going to unlock him? Your guess is as good as mine at this point. And make sure you like this video and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. Hopefully I can get some gameplay of R2-D2 one way or another. And we will talk soon, guys. Peace out. We got it.